Today I'm gonna to create an environment in one corner of our house that I like to call the learning center. So previously I made a table and a chair to give our kids a place to do some schoolwork or read a book or even in downtime play a video game. Now we've got three kids so I need to build two more chairs and a bookshelf. And in all of this I want to incorporate some storage and organization. So stick around for the video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing that I did is I took the full sheet of plywood outside and cut, uh, cut it down with a circular saw into more manageable pieces so I could bring it inside and finish up on the table saw. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm cutting all the pieces out for the bookshelf. I'm gonna end up having uh, two sides, a top, a bottom, and three shelves. Very simple project. And so here I'm just measuring out for a notch that's gonna go at the bottom of the bookshelf and on the back side. And so what this will allow me to do is to mount this bookshelf directly to the wall and that little notch will go around the baseboard that I have in my house. Uh, so it's just a quick and easy way to uh, get this bookshelf up against the wall. And so I'm just gonna cut this out on the bandsaw. I'm gonna make a couple of cuts. And when it, once that is done, then we can start uh, looking at how this is gonna be constructed. And so for the construction of this whole entire bookshelf, I'm using pocket holes uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, it's just really easy, really fast. And then uh, also number two is I can hide these in a way uh, to where you won't see any screws. And so the combination of the two is where I think the pocket holes are you know, best used in this situation. So now I'm gonna get all of this uh, put together and we'll get it installed inside the house. So for this entire project, uh, this is the bookshelf that you're looking at here. Uh, so I'm using Pure Bond plywood. Uh, and also on the table and chairs, I use Pure Bond. And I'll get to that in just a little bit. Uh, but I just really like the hardwood layers you get with Pure Bond. Uh, another plus is that it's eco-friendly and it's also just my go-to uh, for all of my plywood projects. I'll put a link down in the description so you guys can check them out. So here, now that I've got the bookshelf completed, I'm making the chairs. Um, and this is another one of those smaller pieces that I cut outside so I can just finish breaking it down inside on the table saw. And so I've got my laptop pulled up in the shop and I've got the plans uh, pulled up so it just makes it really easy for me to uh, cut everything out that I need, uh, go look at the plan, come back. And so basically what I'm doing here is just batching it out really. Uh, I've got to make two chairs and so I'm cutting double everything. Um, and so I just want to make sure that I've got everything uh, the right measurement and both pieces match and then I can just move on to the next project or the next step, excuse me. And so here I'm using a tapering jig and all it really is is just a piece of plywood. I've got some dovetail uh, slots routed in there and I'm using dovetail clamps and this allows me to taper uh, any piece that needs to be tapered. And in this project I'll have the legs and the upright that I need to taper. And so the clamps allow me to hold on to, the, to that jig and push it through the blade. And so this jig is just really easy. And so in the next scene, uh, my kids are gonna join in the shop and so they're gonna help me finish this project. But you don't, you don't hold the trigger down, you just bump it. Bump it, bump it, bump it, bump it, bump it, bump it, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. You don't want it to come out the other side, see? Daddy, can I try now? What, what? Daddy! Yes, sir. So the kids and I finished the chairs. I thought it was really fitting to get them involved to take some ownership in this project. So as you can see, the table and chairs and bookshelf all tie in real nicely together. 
Uh, as far as the bookshelf goes, we've got a, a shelf there holding some books. And then right below there, we've got a couple of shelves that have some organization bins. And each one of those bins have something specific in them. So everything has a place, everything has a home. Uh, so we're just trying to teach the kids some organization skills. So with the table and chairs, they also have storage and organization built into them. Uh, under the table, there's a couple of baskets that slide in and out that holds markers or pencils or crayons or whatever uh, in an effort to keep the top of the table decluttered. On the end, there are a couple of uh, more shelves there. Uh, as far as the chairs go, uh, there's some pockets underneath the chair on the front and back. And then on the back of the upright of the chair is a pocket to hold an iPad or a tablet. And so just a, a lot of thought went into this and uh, our kids are loving this little area. It's been really, really helpful with keeping things um, just in its place. And so if you wanna learn more about this project, there's a link down, down in the description um, to our blog to where we talk about this project and go more in detail on, on what went into this and how we did it. Uh, also there you will find a link for the plans for this project. So if you wanna build the table and chairs yourself, uh, you encourage you to go check those plans out. Also, we want, want to encourage you to uh, follow us on Instagram. There we will post uh, daily pictures of what's going on in the shop and different projects that we're working on. Um, over on our website, you can find more plans that we offer at stoneandsons.net. And also, while you're there, you can sign up for our newsletter. So you'll get notifications uh, for videos like this and projects that we put out and different plans that we create. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.